Hey guys, so today we're not really going to be working on cars, we're going to be doing an unboxing even though everything's already unboxed. So, if you can tell by the title already, this is uh, both of our cars getting a fully built motor, the R18 Civic and the 350Z. So I guess we'll start with the Z first. So if you guys don't know, if you haven't seen the video, my time been changed enough and we actually thought maybe like some internal broke, but I decided to go ahead and order everything that I needed. So I got, uh, here I got the manly rods. See, they're already creased from the box. And there's the piston, uh, the rod. These should be good for what my goals are. As of right now, I'm gonna try and push 550 because my clutch. And then I got manly pistons. Well, here's the rings. And under them is the pistons. I got compression ratio of 851. I believe these are the C clips. And the wrist pins. And I got King Racing bearings. Both for the main bearings and the rod bearings. Here. Yeah, another box is more bearing, so don't worry about it. It's the same thing. And then I also got um, this is just a thrust washer. And then I got ARP main studs and head studs. So yeah, I just went ahead and went all out. And the last thing I got was a Tomei head gasket. Uh, I think it's about one millimeter thick. I actually haven't opened it yet. Oh, maybe I have actually. Yeah, see, they're right there. Yeah. These feel, feel pretty sturdy compared to the stock ones. And yeah, they gave us a sheet for the ring gaps and we're probably going to be going with 15 pounds and a medium boost one. And that's going to be the gap. Medium boost, right there. Follow that line. Alright, so that's about it for the Z one. Now it's time to get to the R18 box. Alright, so the first one we got is a Skunk 2 cam. So he doesn't have head components in here, but I have all the parts for a fully built head and bottom end. Skunk 2 cam. So his uh, engine's actually a single overhead cam, so he only Yeah, he only have one cam, so it's pretty easy, just drop it in. Hopefully it's easy. All right, so these are my exhaust and intake valves, and these will be part of the head build. All right, so this is the spring and retainer kit from Brian Crower, oh yeah valves are from SuperTech. So that's about it for the head. And now, on to the bottom end. I also got King's racing bearings from King's. <laughs> yeah, it's the same as the other ones he has, so it just looks like bearings. Now, some more fun stuff. We got Brian Crower H-beam rods. Yeah, then the lube it comes with it. I believe that he also has H-beam rods, right? Yeah. Yeah, his rods are also H-beam. When playing around. For my pistons, I got the CP pistons, nine to one. These were, these cost a pretty penny. This is probably the most expensive part of the whole build right here. So yeah, these are the rings. These are the C-clips, wrist pins. I'll show you one of the pistons. Yeah, pretty shiny. <laughs> CP, says it right there. Yeah, I see a writing, but. Okay, yes, yes. yes. Alright, CP. Yeah, these are 9 to 1. I'm also sending my block off to CSS once the coronavirus rolls over because I'm after some power. And I'm also going to be upgrading to a twin disc Clutch Masters clutch. I also have a FX400 in right now, but I don't want to use that forever because I think it'll slip past 400. That's uh, from what I've heard. Uh, and I'm not sending my block to CSS. I'm actually, I actually order, ordered a SuperTech block guard because the CSS is uh, a lot more expensive for my block than his. Yeah, mine's like three hundred something dollars or so, three thirty, and it'll be ready for seven hundred wheel horsepower after it's re after it's done. I do also have ARP head studs, but they're not from who we got it from. We got all our stuff from Real Street. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah. Huge shout out to Real Street. Yeah, huge yeah. shout out to Real Street. Russ at Real Street. He also hooked us hooked us up with some shirts and some good discounts. Yeah. So yeah. check them out. They can get you yeah. in the right path. This is my good luck tuning shirt. Every time I tune, I try to wear the shirt, except for yesterday when I tuned to the B20 <laughs> Civic. So yeah, these are actually custom made ARP head studs from Race Engineering in Florida. They actually make these themselves. So that's neat. That's cool of them. I got them for uh, 190 or 200, and that's a good price because these are custom studs, and I had to drop the price to actually sell. Yeah, it's actually about the same price for regular uh, ARP studs as well. Yeah, so these are like underpriced, which is which I got lucky, I guess, and they're all of that price now. If you guys need R18 head studs for some reason, but I don't have main studs because 
those would have to be custom made and I don't have a head gasket yet because they don't have any aftermarket ones. They have a Kometics one apparently for 20 over but I forgot to bore out. I wanted to bore out, okay all our stuff is stock bore size. I should have bored out at least 5 millimeters over, 20 millimeters over. I forgot which number it was but it's one or the other. And I know it's a big difference but I forgot the metric system thing. And they need to be bored over because they need to be expanded because the stock bore is not a perfect circle. It's like an oval or something. And CSS told me that. And some other dude on forums. So since it's not a perfect circle, apparently it won't be best for the piston. And I might possibly melt a piston, but they CSS said they'll also. I should be fine with running it like that. And if it does happen to melt a piston, I can just take oh send my block back off to them. Then they can just bore it out. And then I can get new pistons, which is gonna be some money in the end, but I'm gonna try running it stock first, like stock bore size. Also with this shirt, we got a lot of real street stickers. So and thanks for the stickers too. And also he has a shirt too, it's not just one shirt. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching guys, and look forward to a build video on the Z very soon. Really soon. Alright, peace.